and thank you for your interest in High Tech High. My name is Sohana and I'm currently in second grade. If you are the parent of an incoming student, it might be hard to visualize what your child might be like in the years ahead, what school might be like for them, and how they will be supported. I want to tell you that if they become part of High Tech High, they are going to thrive. We are an integrated network of 16 charter schools at four locations throughout San Diego County. We take great pride in our small schools and more personalized learning environments, which in turn provide us with more engaging learning experiences. Our schools have fostered learning that has helped us build awareness and skills. Our teachers and school staff support and appreciate our interests in project-based learning environments. We are part of a thriving, joyful learning community. I invite you to learn more about how your child can be part of the High Tech Charter School Network. As you explore our school through this video, I hope that you discover just how important and valued we are at our schools. Now please, join me in experiencing the magic of High Tech High, learning from perspectives of various leaders across our schools. We thank you once again for your interest in our organization. Welcome to our virtual info session for High Tech High Elementary Schools. My name is Marquita Griffith and I am the school director for High Tech Elementary Chula Vista. During this video, you will discover who we are, what we do, and why we exist. In doing so, we hope that you will be able to make an informed decision about your student's education and learn how you may be able to join our school community. In 2000, High Tech High opened its doors as one small charter high school in Point Loma. Now we have evolved into an integrated network of 16 schools serving approximately 6,000 students, grades K-12, across four campuses in the County of San Diego. Our campuses include Point Loma, Chula Vista, North County, and our newest site, Mesa. In addition to us being a multi-site charter school network, we pride ourselves on maintaining small class sizes or a more engaging experience, averaging to about 25 students per class. High Tech High is guided by four connected design principles, equity, personalization, authentic work, and collaborative design. These four design principles help us set aspirational goals and create a foundation for understanding our progressive approach to K-12 education. High Tech High is an equity project. Teachers work to address inequities and help students reach their full potential. Our schools are intentionally diverse and integrated, enrolling students through a zip code-based lottery aimed at creating schools that are reflective of the communities we serve. Teachers recognize the value of having students from different backgrounds working together and employ a variety of approaches to accommodate diverse learners without academic tracking. High Tech High has an acute focus on college entrance and college completion for all students. High Tech High teachers practice a learner-centered, inclusive approach that supports and challenges each student. Students pursue their passions through projects and reflect on their learning, recognizing that identity development and personal growth occur in context of community. Our schools foster relationships of trust, caring, and mutual respect among students and adults through program design elements such as small school size, small classes, home visits, advisories, and student collaborative work. High Tech High projects integrate hands and minds and incorporate inquiry across multiple disciplines, leading to the creation of meaningful and beautiful work. Students engage in work that matters to them, to their teachers, and to the world outside of our school. Students connect their studies to the world through field work, community service, internships, and consultation with outside experts. Our facilities are collaborative workplaces with small group learning and project areas, relevant technology, and common spaces where artwork, prototypes, and other artifacts of student thinking are created and displayed. 
here's an example of a student project from High Tech Elementary Chula Vista, where first grade students partner with a local conservation organization in building a butterfly garden. Take a look. The project that we have here is a butterfly garden and a monarch way station. And the idea really was to have this be a science lab, if you will, um, something that kids in every, every uh, from years to come, that uh, they could just come and they could just view the life cycle of butterflies and get really involved and engaged in, in nature and in science. I've got to tell you that, um, as, as almost any parent knows or, or any adult, it is very hard to get the buy-in of a total class. I mean, anybody can teach the life cycle <laughs> of a butterfly, but who lives it? Absolutely. And you guys live it. Behind us is a completely desolate field, and that is what this looked like just a few short months ago. If you were to look from a helicopter above or from the roof of the school, you'd see that um, the thorax, which is the tunnel back there, will actually, in the next couple of years, hopefully will be covered in vines and will actually be a, a really cool tunnel. And it, it really brought a whole 3D uh, three-dimensional aspect to it. If you look at the bricks, you can see that they're designed so that there's the students' names engraved and a thank you for all the parents who helped, helped us build this. And you have the pergolas, uh, and underneath the pergolas are four wings. So the walkways are covered in like a, a natural wood color, and then the wings have a red color. So when you look at the actual uh, garden from above, it looks like a butterfly. Rio, tell me why we're sitting here. What is this? It's a waste station. This is a place where the caterpillars, for the caterpillars, it's got the milkweeds, and the milkweed is what the caterpillars eat. Now, when they eat, there's a special word for it when they're eating. What's gorging. that? Gorging. Gorging. Tell me a little bit about why this garden is so important. Because so the butterflies don't come extinct, so we build a monarch waste station and a garden so the butterflies can stay alive. Do butterflies fly a long distance? Yes. Tell me about that. Um, they migrate all around the world. Do you know the life cycle of a butterfly that you could maybe help me with? Well, it starts off with an egg, and then a caterpillar comes out of it and make a chrysalis on a plant, or they climb on the big enclosure and make it on top. And then they come out and turn into a butterfly. I thought it was a really good idea. I knew that it was something that kids would really enjoy doing. No idea it was going to be as extensive as this. Um, I think it came out a lot grander than I had originally envisioned. But it's a really cool idea, and um, Rhea loved it. The amount of things she learned out of it is, is phenomenal. It seemed like a really fun thing to do. And actually, like, get something done besides play and watch TV. This type of project just lends itself so easily to every subject area, uh, English, language, writing, speaking. And the kids, every day they came to class, they saw something different. They saw caterpillars getting bigger. They saw a chrysalis form. They saw a butterfly being born. It just makes it so easy to engage the students in, in the academics. And then on top of that, they get the hands-on approach of touching the caterpillars and building a garden and digging. And they've got to really work together to design the garden. And I think that, I think, is, is the beauty of what we do here at Project Based Learning. It's I think would be the, the, the essence of what we do here. You know what we're going to do? We're going to let, we're going to release that butterfly. What do you think? You think it's old enough to release that? Yeah. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Bye. Bye. High-tech high teachers collaborate to design curriculum and projects, lead professional development, and participate in hiring while seeking student experience and voice in each of these areas. With students as design partners, staff function as reflective practitioners, conducting inquiry into equitable teaching and learning, school culture, project design, and authentic assessments. We are all still learning. At High Tech High, it is our belief that all students should have access to general education curriculum, which is why we are also committed to providing the necessary support to students with an IEP or 504 plan. At our schools, students with IEPs or 504 plans are in general education classrooms with their peers as much as possible. If your student requires a specialized separate setting for the majority of their day, High Tech High will collaborate with your home district or nearby education system 
regarding placement options to ensure that your student receives the services determined in their IEP. Inside the classroom, our students engage in curriculum that follows Common Core standards while remaining true to our project-based learning model. During in-person instruction, students focus on project work, connection, community building, literacy, math, science, history, and exploratory instruction. In order to promote further exploration and discovery, each of our elementary schools offer additional courses called exploratories. These courses are included in the daily class schedule and rotate each semester. Though they vary by campus, exploratory courses generally include makerspace, fine arts, media arts, and design. Now that you've been able to learn a bit about our program, I would like to share information about our school calendar, weekly schedules, and other programs that are available to our families. School calendar and daily schedules do vary by campus. However, typically, students attend school Monday through Friday with start and end times ranging from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. During our in-person learning, the weekly schedules may also include half days every Wednesday. Our goal is to feed our students nutritious and delicious meals on a daily basis. High Tech High participates in the National School Lunch Program in order to provide lunch at a free, reduced, and paid status for students based on income and household eligibility. Families are encouraged to apply online through easymealapp.com or complete a paper application, which can be obtained from the school site manager. During in-person learning, we also offer before and after care, which is available to all students and generally begins at 7.30 a.m. and ends at 6 p.m. each day. While in our aftercare program, students can participate in a wide variety of activities, ranging from homework help, cooking, physical activity, and more. In order to participate, families must submit an application. Program fees do apply and are determined on a sliding scale based on income. With all this information I've shared, I hope you're excited about the prospect of your students attending our schools. Now, I'd like to pass it on to our admissions team to share how you and your family can join our community. We are thrilled you are considering High Tech High as an option for your child. We strive to have an equitable and easy to follow admission process. But if you ever have any questions or need support, our admissions team is here to assist you. High Tech High Schools strive to accommodate all students who apply for admission. However, because applications for admission exceed the number of spaces available, High Tech High uses a zip code based computerized lottery to determine admission. Spaces are allocated to form a student body that reflects the demographics of the region in which the school is located. Applicants will need a San Diego County address and must have successfully completed the previous grade in order to participate in our lottery. Our open enrollment period starts October 1st and ends at the beginning of March. We have an online application linked through our website, hightechhigh.org, and we also have paper applications available at each of our school sites. It is only necessary to complete one application per child, but it is possible to apply to multiple campuses if you are close to more than one. The best grades to apply are kindergarten, sixth grade, and ninth grade. Those are the only grades in which we admit a large number of applicants. For all other grades, we admit very few students, if any. Applications for kindergarten, sixth, and ninth grades have the highest chance of admission. We always get lots of questions about our lottery and how exactly it works. The lottery selected students at random based on their zip code and other preferences associated with their application. Those preferences may be that they are a sibling of a current student, or that they come from a family with limited economic resources, or eligible for free or reduced lunch. Siblings of currently enrolled HTH students are given a preference. However, admission is not guaranteed because it is also based on zip code as well as space availability. Please visit hightechhigh.org admissions for more information about our admissions process, to access our online application, and for frequently asked questions. We look forward to hearing from you and connecting with your family. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. To learn more about our schools, please visit hightechhigh.org. See you next time.